What have these people in common? They are the most innovative entrepreneurs in Switzerland. They're at the Swiss Innovation Forum in Basel to collect a prize, the Swiss Technology Award, for their vision and their hard work. Together with other entrepreneurs and venture capitalists, they get to hear about other brilliant ideas which were turned into successful market products, like Facebook. One of the speakers is Randy Zuckerberg, sister of Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg, whom she helped to create the most successful social media website in the world. Randy is Facebook's former marketing director and herself an independent entrepreneur now. She has some tips on how to use social media to help business. Do you have guidelines or are you just kind of posting whenever and, and whatever you think is cool? Um, are you a global company? And if so, are you posting in multiple languages? And finally, um, we've also found it to be really successful if you actually have an image accompany every post because it's a lot more engaging to click on a news feed. Morten Lund is co-founder of Skype, among many other ventures. He became a multimillionaire in his 20s and then went bankrupt. Now he is back in business, so he has some sobering thoughts to share on the challenges an entrepreneur is facing. And a lot of people burn out and you can easily fail. It's important. We're promoting entrepreneurship and innovation, but there's a lot of people failing. So we're also promoting failure. Maybe you can, if you do it 10 times, you'll probably be successful three times. I don't know how that would work. But it's, it's something like that. So you have to be ready to try over and over again. These Swiss entrepreneurs who were awarded the technology prize did just that, tried over and over again. The biopharmaceutical company Bioversus won in the startups category for a new compound which switches off bacterial drug resistance. At Bioversus we are developing small molecules that actually have the ability to overcome bacterial resistance against existing antibiotics on a genetic level. We have come up so far with active compounds uh, in one indication which is tuberculosis and also hospital acquired infections. Not only young startups were awarded for their innovations, also a well-established textile company, Schürrle, won a prize for a new product called iLoad, a drug delivery textile for underwear, bedsheets or bandages you can load and reload, a bit like a reusable nicotine or anti-inflammatory patch, only in fabric and not sticky. The goal is that you can go to a drugstore, for example, to buy the textile as well as the drugs you would like to load. For example, if you have a cough, you're loading your textile with something against a cough, or if you're suffering at atopic dermatitis, then another an appropriate drug will give you, hopefully, relief. In the category Inventions, winner was the startup Optical Additives for a revolutionary powder which can be added to polymers and dyes to make any surface a light harvester. A small solar cell transforms the light into electricity. Think of the possibilities with cell phones alone being able to recharge themselves with light. We have a solution which people worked over 30 years on now and we have solved the main issue well, uh, big companies could not resolve during the, the decades. So they stopped during the last years really to continue because they didn't believe they can solve it. We actually came up with a solution uh, so simply on, on, in principle, not so simply doing, but in principle very simple. Switzerland invests a lot in research and innovation and that's why it ranks the most competitive country in the world for being good at translating research into new products. Unfortunately, it lags behind, some say, when it's time for a startup to gather venture capital. Uh, we uh, are looking now for investors. Also, we have the money for the next year, but uh, anyway, we uh, are looking now. And from this side, I just got the feeling that people are not very risk-taking. <laughs> they have not a risk-taking attitude. Or if they have this, they have... Um, uh, requirements or uh, terms which so far I could not accept in that in that way. His young company would like to stay in Switzerland which has helped optical additives a lot in the research phase but the startup might consider moving abroad to Silicon Valley or Germany should it find more risk-taking investors there. <laughs>